Hello everyone, welcome to TechTrade.com. In this lecture, we will understand join. So join operation in SQL. Okay. So till now, what we are doing if we need to find out results or records from more than one table. Okay. So if it is one table, then no problem. But if it is more than one table, then what we are doing right now. So we are we are till now we are using two methods. One is Cartesian product. Okay. And another one <coughs> we are using is subquery, right? So these two we are using till now, but we have more powerful methods and that is join. So what you can do or what we can do is using join, we can join more than one table, right? So how do we write the simple syntax is let's say we have relation R1 and we have relation R2 and we want to join it. So we will write join. Okay, R1 join R2 on and then condition that is predicate. Okay, so it will join R1 R2 over these conditions. Okay, whatever is there in the predicate. Fine. And now we will get a table or a relation R12 which will have attribute from relation 1 and attribute from relation 2 in order. Okay. If it has attribute A, B, fine. And it has let's say A and C and we have joined it on the basis of A. Okay. So after join the order of attribute in R12 will be A b a and c right so in order now this join here we can write different kind of join okay so one can be inner join or outer join so depending upon the requirement we basically choose to write what kind of join we want so we have various type of joins let's note it down so join we have inner join and outer join so inner join okay and we have outer join so let's assume we have again uh, these two table r1 and r2 and we have attribute a and b okay fine and we have attribute a and c in r2 so if we are joining and if we are doing inner join then the r12 will list down only the attribute which are satisfying this predicate and only the records basically it will list down only the records from both the table this and this which are satisfying this predicate fine but in case of outer join we have three joins let's un understand it one by one so three we have three types one is left one is right and full so in case of left outer join let's say we have a record this record okay so if this record is not satisfying condition on or if this record doesn't have any corresponding record in this table okay still the record from left table as it is left the record from left table will be there okay and for right we will have null values okay so let's say uh, let's take an example and then we will understand it clearly now let's assume that the for these two tables we have joining condition or predicate as r1 dot a is r1 dot a is equal to r2 dot a okay this one is r1 this one is R2 okay so this is the join condition fine now in case of left join you can see that we don't have any corresponding record for A1 here okay so for this record A1 B1 we don't have anything here which is math matching to A1 right so in output if we are if we are doing left join this record will still be there okay so in output we will have a1 and then for b we will have b1 and for these two values that is 
will have a b a and c so for these two values we will have null null okay similarly in case of right join right outer join we will have all the records from right table okay so you can see for a3 we don't have anything here matching but still we will have here a3 and c3 and we will have null 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 okay but this is in case of right outer join fine so in left outer join we will have all the records from left table in right outer join we will have all the records from right table and if we are doing full outer join we will have all the records from both the table okay so something like this okay whenever we don't have any matching row in the other table we will put null okay so this is the output for full outer join so this is the basic of join now uh, in from next lecture onwards we will take one join at a time and we will understand it clearly and we will do some practical query writing so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching